This dynamic approach to threat detection allows antivirus programs to detect and eliminate previously unknown malware, including zero-day attacks. Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about behavioral analysis, which is one of the key scanning techniques most modern antiviruses use nowadays. Now, in our ever-evolving digital world, I cannot overstate the importance of effective antivirus protection. Malicious software, or malware, continues to pose a significant threat to individuals, businesses, and governments alike. At the same time, traditional signature-based antiviruses have become increasingly insufficient given that the malware landscape has been evolving at a rapid pace. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between behavioral analysis and traditional analysis, the role of behavioral analysis in antivirus protection, how it functions as well as some limitations it can have. Now, before we get into this video, if you'd like to check out some antiviruses that use behavioral analysis, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend as well as some discounts in the description down below. Okay, so let's start this off by talking about the limitations of signature-based antiviruses. Now, traditional antiviruses mainly rely on signature-based detection to identify any eliminate known malware. These signatures are basically like fingerprints that antivirus programs use to recognize and block malicious files. While it is effective against known threats, it is not capable of identifying any new malware that is not in its malware database. And considering the fact that around 450,000 new pieces of malware are registered every day, according to avtest.com, signature-based antiviruses would not be able to keep up with these cyber threats. And that's where behavioral analysis comes in. So what exactly is behavioral analysis? Well, it's a scanning technique that instead of relying solely on static signatures, focuses on the behavior of programs and files. By monitoring how software interacts with a system, behavioral analysis identifies suspicious or malicious activities that might not be covered by traditional antivirus signatures. This dynamic approach to threat detection allows antivirus programs to detect and eliminate previously unknown malware, including zero-day attacks, which exploit vulnerabilities before security patches are rolled out. Now, before we move on to talk about some key components of behavioral analysis, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, Having all them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection. The Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files the Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint, instant data leak notifications with Surfshark Alert, and Surfshark Alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor and let's get back to the video. Now let's talk about a few components of behavioral analysis. First, we have something I mentioned earlier, which is dynamic monitoring. Behavioral analysis involves continuously monitoring the behavior of software in real time. It tracks a bunch of different activities such as file access, system calls, network communication, and changes to the registry. Any weird or malicious behavior would trigger alerts and the antivirus would suggest some potential threat mitigations. Next, we have heuristic analysis and machine learning. Behavioral analysis often incorporates heuristics and machine learning algorithms to identify deviation from expected software behavior. These algorithms allow the system to learn and adapt to emerging threats, making it more effective and 
at identifying unknown malware. If you guys would like to know more about heuristics, I've talked in detail about this in a separate video, which I'll leave in the description as well. Another common technique used in behavioral analysis is sandboxing. Sandboxes isolate potentially malicious software within a controlled environment allowing security software to observe their behavior without risking damage to the host system. This is especially useful for analyzing suspicious email attachments or downloads. Lastly, we have pattern recognition. Behavioral analysis systems use pattern recognition to identify suspicious sequences of actions that might indicate a malware attack. By detecting patterns that deviate from the norm, these systems can raise alarms and take necessary actions. With that being said, there are other benefits that behavioral analysis brings to the table. For example, antivirus programs that use behavioral analysis would often reduce false positive results. Unlike traditional antivirus programs that often produce false positives, which can be disruptive and costly, Behavioral analysis tends to have a lower false positive rate by focusing on behavior rather than static characteristics. Also, behavioral analysis systems are pretty adaptable and can evolve alongside emerging threats. With machine learning and heuristic techniques, they can continuously improve their ability to identify and respond to new forms of malware. Other than that, antiviruses that rely on behavioral analysis are the best options to protect yourself from zero-day attacks. Zero-day attacks are among the most challenging threats to counter, as they exploit vulnerabilities before vendors release patches. Behavioral analysis can often identify these attacks by recognizing unusual behavior patterns, which is far more effective and proactive than traditional analysis. With that being said, there are a few challenges that come with such a method. For example, behavioral analysis can be resource intensive, especially when examining every file and program's behavior in real time, which can slow down system performance. Also, even though behavioral analysis is pretty good at reducing false positives, it may still miss some threats since some advanced malware can hide its behavior, making it difficult for behavioral analysis systems to detect them. However, given the nature of machine learning and how frequently developers update their systems, it's not long before antiviruses can perfectly go toe to toe with every single emerging threat. And that's basically everything you need to know about behavioral analysis, its importance, and its limitations. If you want to check out some antiviruses that use behavioral analysis, Analysis, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses I recommend in the description down below along with some discounts. Also, if you like the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love interacting with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you in the next one.